everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on the Survival Day Return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today we got something absolutely nutty, absolutely crazy to talk about. So without further ado, we're, we're going to go and talk about it real quick over here in the overworld. Because what you're about to see is nutty. This is probably our first look into Update 1.8. And there is a ton of information to be had about it. So without further ado, boom! What you guys are seeing right here is something that Kafir posted just earlier today. A zone, Sector 7, a light of some spooky sort. I, a lot of information there, but you guys can see the dude is walking up into some sort of giant wall. Uh, you guys can see Sector 7 with like refrigeration vents, so it might be kind of cold. And then the radioactive armor that we have seen from before. It's kind of a little bit hard to tell, but if you guys do look at the details of that thing, it does have a lot of similarities actually over to uh, whatchamacallit, to the concept art that Kafir posted a little bit earlier. So we're just going to keep playing this a little bit, then we're going to break it down. Uh, by each important frame because for the most part there are about three very important frames that we do want to take into account but i just want to kind of absorb the epicness of this thing sector seven biohazards radioactive materials the radioactive hazmat suit and of course the walk up to this area it looks like it's going to be some sort of a giant wall we have actually seen concept sketches of this thing and by the looks of it it's going to be some sort of like a giant wall slash gate and the thing that kafir did tweet out with this as well was something like uh what's on the other side of the door or something kind of kind of along those lines yeah what they tweeted out was actually what is behind a door and we've seen concept sketches of what this has been kafir has confirmed that after they finished working on the dog they spent like pretty much most of their work is going towards multiplayer now so it only makes sense our first taste of multiplayer hunter like it has to be update 1.8 they're not gonna make multiplayer like 1.7.8 13 that just that just ain't right it's gonna be 1.8 this is 100% gonna be what 1.8 is you guys can ah dude it just looks so hype you guys can tell it's gonna be massive too because they have to add an entirely new location a wall a lead up to it they're gonna be adding in this new radioactive suit that we're gonna be needing and uh whatchamacallit and the sector and stuff but without further ado and after watching this video for a little while let's go ahead and actually start breaking it down kind of piece by piece here now, as we do begin breaking it down piece by piece, I would absolutely love to hear what you guys got to say about this in that comment section down below. And you're buying that cosmo, but you're third of the way into so the week to $5. dollars i slash play store gift card giveaway. All I got to do as well is make sure you the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. That will answer you in on today's video. I'll connect you on every single last day on Earth video. And uh, yeah, when Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And Zat, if you're going to be the Venice, so make sure the notification bell is hit so you never miss a video, especially with this crazy hype update that is being teased and most likely going to be our very next next taste of an update our very next taste of 1.8 you know i'm gonna be covering it you know i'm gonna be showing it off and you know i'm gonna be trying to help you guys throughout it and showing you the best ways of doing it but here what you guys are seeing is a still of the outside of the walk up of the lead up of our character going up into the door it's uh, you guys can see it looks like a relatively massive wall that has like vents and stuff on it it's got like a little path leading up to it, and then it has that door which leads into an area that looks like it's full the flooring looks pretty similar to bunker flooring so it's probably like some sort of military structure some kind of thing like that and you can kind of tell it's you can't see everything but at the top above the door it says ricted area so that's probably restricted area of some sort meaning that there's gonna be some spooky stuff on the other side here and then you guys can also see an r and i'm pretty sure that is did like it's trying to say like it's some sort of a sector something along those lines but if we head on over to the second little screen green grab here it gives us a relatively good amount of info you guys can see caution radioactive materials and also biohazard caution uh something something hazard i can't really make out the first two words super well maybe you guys can but then you guys are also seeing uh the two air conditioner vents which kind of might lead towards the fact there's gonna be like some sort of very cold area somewhere in there uh just kind of like what looks like a little shelf with a couple of random things on it they don't really look too important and then on the left, you guys can see some sort of a terminal. And if you look very, very closely over on the left, you can see a hand. That's a hand, right? I'm not crazy. You guys see that kind of little bit to the left of that terminal computer thing. And a little bit down, you guys can see a hand and what appears to be an arm leading up to that hand. I think that that is what is leading up to this third screen grab right here. And what this third screen grab is, is 
glowing eyes, and you guys can kind of make out some details of the armor, but I'm pretty sure that second screen grab, the left part of it, is the armor, and potentially, like, we'll be able to pick it up off the wall, maybe have to equip it off the wall our first time we go there or something, because I don't think we're going to be able to craft up freaking radioactive armor. That seems pretty crazy, so I'm guessing we're going to be able to get it from this wall, and I, I'm very confident in the fact that this is the radioactive armor, because if you compare it against the uh, concept art that Kafir posted a couple of days ago, it is very similar similar features such as the gas mask with kind of like that triangular type of dilio at the very top you guys can see the eyes look a little bit different though because in the sketches they for the most part do have like what appears to be a single visor whereas over here in the final sketch you guys can see that it is two distinct eyes but a lot a lot of similarities there yeah, I'm relatively confident that that is going to be the biohazard armor especially when you do take into account that in the second screen shot it shows the biohazard and the radioactive materials and in the screenshot not in the screenshot but in the concept art you guys can see that on the shoulder of the armor they do have that exact same symbol so 100 they are corresponding this is huge because this is our first gameplay and whenever we see gameplay whenever we see moving parts that means that it is relatively close like whenever we've seen stuff in game except for the lone exception of the female that when that like was first teased a couple months ago and it came out like when did the female come out? i think a month or two ago but it was teased back in like 2017 right but still following relative patterns here and the fact that they have said that they're focusing their efforts on multiplayer it's been relatively confirmed they're pretty widely like hypothesized by the community and relatively taken for a fact that this is going to be a multiplayer type of zone so this is going to be freaking very very exciting i can't wait to hear what you guys gotta say about it i am stupidly hyped for this thing this zone is going to be absolutely crazy absolutely nutty and i cannot wait to hop into it with you boys moving forward and i can't wait to see what you guys gotta say about it as well and uh, when you are saying that just remember entering the giveaway while you're at it with that like button and with that subscription and notification bell comes in handy so you don't miss videos and especially because i'm gonna be all over this update as soon as it comes out because this is looking crazy hype dude it's like ah this could be it man our very first tastes of multiplayer now we don't know what it's gonna be we don't know if it's gonna be pvp we don't know if it's gonna be pve or if it's just gonna even be uh like multiplayer is gonna be implemented in the future in this area and they'll just implement this area first but because of the fact that they have said in a past q a i think last week's what they said in that q a was people asking about like what they were working on they said after they finished working on the dog they pretty much focused or like they spent the entire last week working on multiplayer so i'm guessing that they're continuing that trend of working on multiplayer over here with the sector seven as it is probably called or maybe there's different sectors you can go into i don't know but either way this stuff is stupid freaking hype and ah dude i'm excited but enough of that enough excitement i already spent like the past what nine minutes of my life just huge smile on my face getting stupidly hype over this thing uh we got some topics at home that we got to worry about topic number one zoraidas we're bribing them off this is from last episode i'm just gonna go ahead and bribe them off with a little bit of the gun oil to get them to shoo i go away Raider, go away we have however been raided yet again so i did go ahead and restock the bait box we do have a revenge raid lined up and ready and rearing to go so we're gonna make sure to go ahead and head on over to that thing as well but before that happens the raiders have started to break into a very good chunk of my walls and also i'm getting very thirsty so here is the game plan game plan part fun acquire h2o and put into my tummy ah there's the h2o game plan number two repair the walls well actually i mean we just uh, we're, we're shifting the game plan around no 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 not that god dang it god I, I can't place it here come on just 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 let me let me can i put down my freaking engine there we go all right a uh, game plan next part let's uh, summon the raiders and get them to say hello hello dealer are you offering me a puppy no he's probably just offering the usual stuff uh where are some mom lila can't english today hello raiders how do you do uh, we might need to talk to them here in the future. At the very least, just knock out some quests for them while we are at it. 
And really quickly as well, might as well show you guys the bunker code for today. If this bunker code is invalid, hopefully someone's fan for fantastic self went ahead and tossed them in the comments to help your boys out because I want my videos being as helpful as possible, not just in the content, but also the comments because we got a fan for fantastic community here, boys. 38803 is still the code of today. I think that was the code we used last time, right? Unless I'm cray cray. 100% could be cray cray. I think that's pretty well established by now but let's go ahead let's pick up the scraps off this and let's do some much needed repairs and god let's keep getting hype about that video man just oh oh man there's the 1.8 right there hopefully multiplayer just a brand new infected zone that's probably going to be a huge area moving forward i can only imagine the loot that we're going to be able to get from there as well it's just dude it's just crazy to think about and god god I can't wait, dude. I wish I could be as hype as I want to be, but I ain't trying to get a noise complaint. So I, you guys got to settle for like about 37% of my total hypeness. That's how hype I am about this freaking thing right here. But all right, right now I'm just hype to get some walls fixed down up over in the base. Uh, do we have inventory room? Yeah, let's just pick up all the scraps off these walls and then we'll go ahead and fix them up because we don't want the Raiders getting into our good chest rooms because... Uh, well, they're chest rooms. Well, these aren't even the good ones. The good ones are protected by our level four, level quattro valves. But, ooh, I burped a little bit there too. My apologies, sincerely. But uh, this is going to protect a couple smaller chest rooms that we do have going on. And oh, there's my noise trap. I always forget about that little thing. If you do hit that during a raid, it actually does raid noise. I didn't realize that until I raised noise. Cause I'm like, oh, I wonder like what happens if I hit it. And then I got noise, and I'm like, oh, well, never doing that again. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's just go ahead and get the most important of all upgraded hither. Let's uh, definitely get this one. And then uh, we do need a couple more planks to get that puppy upgraded, but that shouldn't be too awful. We do still have, do we have any planks left over? No, we do still have a lot of oak. Ooh, ow. We do still have a lot of oak, though, so maybe if we can come across a couple of planks, we'll do something with that. If not, though, I'm more than happy to just put this stuff away and save it for a rainy day. Hopefully no rainy days come, because rainy day is probably a metaphor for our stuff getting stolen. I like my stuff in the unstolen state. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh. God, I just... Ah. If you guys had a face cam, I mean, not you guys. I mean, how would that work? <laughs> if I had a face cam going right now, you guys would just see this giant smile on my face as I keep getting excited for that freaking thing coming our way. The Sector 7. I want to call it Sector Z for some reason, but it, it's it's a pretty distinct 7 in that screenshot we were talking about. Uh, let's go ahead and get to driving. However, we got the no, 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 no. That almost went poorly. We got to go and grab a silenced weapon really quickly. Almost forgot about that. That's a pretty important part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll start heading over there. The game almost finessed me, guys. This time it, re it really almost did. But alas, no, no, no. I went ahead and I wisened up a little bit. So we look in Gucci McSwaggins here with a little bit of that, with a little bit of our current weapon. Uh, we do have hella iron hatchets in our inbox from the uh, pack for un unlocking giant unboxing that we did we were left with a hell of a lot of hatchets so that is really nifty so we can just kind of pull them out of there as they are needed uh we're probably gonna need more than one regardless of how this base is because we need hatchets to break in a chest you know so yeah we are gonna be needing that but you know what i need i need that update no, that they're teasing dude ah, i just want it i know that you guys probably want it as well if you do I don't know, hit that like button. There's probably plenty of reason to show me. No, don't even, you, don't, you guys don't even have to hit it. All right, I already know that you guys are stupid hype for this thing along with me because this is going to be like a huge point of interest that is added. We haven't had like a permanent area added in. Like, if you think about it, kind of the north was the last permanent area. But even then, that was just kind of like grindy zones, you know, like the green, yellow, red zones. This is going to be probably something like Bunker Alpha, where it's unique, where it respawns, where it's kind of a little bit more difficult. I'm not saying it's going to be crazy difficult and there's like 20 big ones trying to attack you, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I'm saying? And wow. Okay. Well, this revenge raid, here's, here's the thing. I'm not going to hate on this revenge raid yet, because last time I started hating, 
and there was like five steel bars so maybe his best stuff will be here over in the big shed there we go baby five more steel bars coming straight our way ten oak planks five aluminum and aluminum bar this dude this dude this man's this is what you get for trying to raid me even though none of the stuff will actually be stolen from you because i'm stealing from a copy of your base still this is what you get son I kind of do wish we did get stone bases though because those 100% of even more stuff but um I'm pretty happy with five steel steel bars anytime some aluminum bars too don't need to give any of this over to the raiders that's usually a pretty awesome part oh look at that we got a pistol that's gonna be perfect we could use that pistol for our next little uh what should we call next time we gotta bait something we gotta do the trade not trade bait the raid baits like dude pretty cool stuff here I'm excited, just like I'm excited for that infected suit, which I seriously think that we are going to be getting inside of, uh, whatchamacall, inside of that, like, Sector Z zone or whatever, not Sector Z, Sector 7 zone, by the looks of it, and then, dude, ugh, I wonder, because they've only really teased what's inside of the, like, kind of wall slash separator, but 100% from the concept arts, you're going to be able to go on the other side of it, like, yeah, this is going to be nutty stuff, boys, but speaking of nutty stuff, uh, we probably got to grab... I'll go ahead and grab three hatchets from the inbox here, which was going to be an adventure because our inbox is just littered with random stuff. So I'm going to do that real quick and uh, BRB. Two, and we should have the final and third hatchet right there. Marvelous. Like, we could have realistically got two. I don't know if we're going to blow through all of these, but we do. Oh, no. My puppy didn't come with. No. What did my puppy come with? What? I thought he was still my active dog. Well... That's just more work that we gotta do, so this kind of does stuff. Just get out of here, fast fighters. I've defeated you guys countless times at this point. Can you just stop coming? And oh my god, I gotta fight you manually. Yo, we might actually need, like, another silenced weapon. I don't know if this VSS is gonna survive two more waves. I hope it is. Don't get me wrong, but I, I don't know if it is. Some aluminum wire and a connecting rod. Not too nifty, not too shabby. I don't really need any of those cards. I already got a chest full of all the cards possible. <coughs> also got a lung full of freaking coughs. That's pretty great. Not a fan of it, dude. Uh, getting sick over spring break was no bueno. Wee! Ah! E! Ah, uh, uh, dude, one fur. I don't even know if that's worth it. I'll, I'll, I'll pass on that for the moment. Let's just go ahead and start breaking into the chest here. And let's see if Prishnet... And not really, you know, we you know, no, 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 we can get a little bit of use out of this. Uh, we can go and put this single gas into my chopper, wherever you might be. There you are, Mr. Chopper. Uh, just a single little gas there for you, you know, just to keep you chugging. A little bit of encouragement. I've been riding you a lot, so I just wanted to give you some uh, rejuvenation, dude. Look at th this dude, it's a couple months past Christmas. The Christmas tree in a game may have despawned, but this dude is like, Nine, I will install my own Christmas tree. I mean, it's not the right type of tree, but still, dude, this dude's got a tree just chilling in his base. I feel like these chests might low-key be pretty good, too, because I don't know why I'm feeling it. I just am, you know? Ooh! All right, some weapon parts. Oh, lots of enemies that we're going to have to deal with here. Let's just go ahead and do a quick little turn and burn on some of you guys and take you out rather quickly. Oh, boop, 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 boop. All right, Toxic Abomination, you're going to be going down, too. I just want to take out all of your little bit slower and lower health buddies there. God, I love the VSS, man. I've been kind of, like, just stockpiling these things and not using them in raids lately because we got, like, a huge stockpile of silenced weapons from one of our raids. But at this point, I'm, I'm still a pretty big fan. This is still uh pretty dope. God, I do love the VSS. Anyways, oh, no, we're getting hungry. Hopefully we, got, hopefully we find some food. This man has to have some food. Like, who doesn't have food? in their base especially if you're going out and raiding me i don't know did he rate like i still don't know 100 percent if like the revenge raids you do are actually the exact people who have raided you because i don't know if someone with this type of base is even going out to raid in the first place i think kafir just picks a random base for you to revenge raid and to raid that just kind of has enough loot to make it worthwhile because i'm just saying absolutely no way that this dude is putting his base at risk with uh well, he's got, a, what is that, like, five level one wall? Six, dude, that random one right there is it's not the most safe of things, to say the least. And he literally only has these chests, so I, I don't know. He's got some paint in there. Uh, no art class today, though, so I'll pass on the paint for now. 
Broke one of our tools. We got a freaking campfire, my dude. And oh no, we got more of these dudes. Oh my god, we're getting swarmed from every angle. Ah! Flee for your lives. Ooh, you go down. You go down. Okay, marvelous. We got another one. Oh, take him out real quick before he does damage. We're doing pretty good here and avoiding as many hits as possible. Probably have to eat some jerky in a sec too. Honestly, we're probably gonna start starving in the middle of shooting these dudes. The VSS might honestly break in the middle of shooting these dudes too, so we might need to go... Oh no, boys. We need to go fisticuffs! Alright, this is how we're gonna finish it off then, I suppose. Uh... <laughs> we ain't got... Oh. We ain't got any other weapons to hit this guy with, so... This is gonna be the way. What was it? We already got him, dude. Look at this. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. I'ma punch you in the face and you ain't gonna do nothing to me! Goodbye, Toxic Abomination. Thanks for playing the game. You just weren't meant to win it. Uh, so I think we just got two more chests to go at this point. And honestly, it should be a pretty low-stress scenario. Don't you have to worry about the big one popping up. We should have more than enough room to uh, fandangle our way around that. He's got some water here, so I'm guessing that this chest will be his food. That or this man is not even a man, and he's a robot, and he eats oil. Honestly, I got plenty of digital cameras. I would enjoy some of that, and... Ooh, honestly, that thing's about to break anyways. We can put that away. We can grab some things. We can also grab this stack. We'll, we'll put away the stone. We got plenty of stone bricks at home compared. Let's use the other materials. And I don't know, like we could try breaking into his workbench even. But I just don't know if that's going to be worth it. Like he hasn't even invested. Where he put his engine parts on the ATV instead of the motorcycle. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, baby, what is you doing? Oh no, <laughs> that's... Ah, that is rough. That that hurts to see. That hurts to see. I, I mean, I don't even think he has any more engine parts. I, I, like, unless he's hiding them somewhere, or he just has them in his inventory, it's, it's really hard to tell. But, oh, we can go and actually equip that into our inventory, which will be nifty, and then we can... Let's go and pick up this thing, and we can use it one last time here for one last break on uh this because per snaps this will have absolutely nothing valuable the big one is coming and i'm going and please don't hit me big one no 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 not today instead today what we got is a nice little raid hall that we're gonna be taking straight to the bank known as mehus Unless maybe there's a cool event for us to go to along the way, maybe an oak event, because those uh, people have been saying that they don't appear anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they do still happen. They are just a little bit more on the rare side. I think Kafir decided to make them permanent, so they made them pop up every couple of days instead of every day, like they were popping up before, because originally they were just supposed to be like a temporary little event, but then they're like, I don't know, like the community response was pretty good. I think they left it in, because people are still seeing it. It is just a little bit more on the rare side so it's just kind of a cool thing because then it's like oh like it sucks that it's not as often don't get me wrong but it's cool because it's like oh you know the oak events happen like this rarely happens so let's run over this there's a cool opportunity you know something along those lines but right now i gotta investigate what the hell happened to my dog dude why is my dog like why didn't he come with me i was expecting to do some dog raids or something like that but it's not happening today apparently the dog was just like no no woof 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 not woof today woof you know is it because he got killed in the raid by raiders because the raiders did i don't know they hurt some of my dogs here I, do we have to like feed him the doggy treats or something because we do have the three dogs chilling out and about here but no fourth dog which is really really weird i don't know where this fourth dog is was he stolen from or she lexi like lexi's still chilling here man she she's here she's ready to roll i don't know no 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 we're not letting lexi go uh yeah i don't know maybe she was like the one dog hurt in the raid because usually here's the thing uh if they are ready to go maybe we just gotta oh no there they are all right now lexi's back so now i think if we take her out she should still be coming and i don't think we have to feed her that dog treat yet but still dude that was scary. All right, well, I guess I just had to unequip her real quick. That's what happens, too. If you get raided or if the zombie horde attacks, they can actually hurt your puppers, hurt your dogs, and they can actually kill them. So what I think you have to do is just kind of, like, take them out of the active dog slot for a little bit, and then they should come back. 
you, they just seem like a little bit of a cool down. I'm not 100% sure there's like a concrete system that people know about yet. It's just kind of like from experience, what people have noticed so far, that type of thing. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk to the Raiders yet, so they want us to get some iron hatchets, 100%. Honestly, I'll just go ahead. You know what? Nah, I'll just grab them next time. Our inventory is kind of full. But uh, what is it? Dude, I make 20 iron plates. Honestly, we could go ahead and get that started. And what else do you want, actually? Uh, this quest is really annoying, though. 25 chests on dangerous locations. It's just a lot of dangerous locations. Uh, the fourth floor and the turrets? Honestly, we could go ahead and go to the bunker next episode and knock out the fourth floor to make this quest quite cheap, or not this quest, this raid quite cheaper to do. And when we go, we can also get some stuff with the pupper. I think we got a perfect game plan planned out here. That does sound pretty favorite fantastic. But uh, let's head on over to that workbench on the super lickety splits so we can toss these, uh, I was about to call them like iron benches. I don't even know where that came from. Uh, toss these, where's workbench number two over here? Workbench number two, Vav's out gone to. I don't know. I think it's somewhere over there. But uh, that'll knock two quests off this raid, which will save us a little bit of coinage and a little bit of time as well. And we get stuff from the dog and go in there. It's it's a pretty solid win-win. I think you guys can agree with that. Well, there we got the iron plates being made. That's going to take about 20 minutes to pop. 20 times 20 is 400 minutes. And that's going to be a little bit probably like seven-ish hours. Six to seven-ish hours, if my really quick math off the top of my head is correct. It might not be. How do I know? You know, my brain cells are plenty worried about doing like linear algebra and advanced college math stuff. And I don't even, they're, they're struggling. They're struggling. But uh, with that all said and done, I think it's a great point for us to go and, and end this video off on. Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say and how excited you are about Sector 7, the sneak peek. The fact that there's a great chance this is coming for 1.8 because they haven't teased anything else they have non-stop been teasing this and that's kind of you know what they do with the big updates 1.6 with the Oka zones they were teasing that a ton 1.7 with the raiders they were teasing that a ton this right here is a pretty good tease and this is the furthest the teasers have come because it is actual in-game gameplay and in-game trailer meaning hopefully it will be coming very very soon and mm -mm. Am I excited for that? But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Last Day Out of Spell. Best of luck to you guys going to the bunker and getting your chopper gas tanks, joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck to you guys doing your own raids, doing your raid defense, making sure all is safe, breeding your puppies, and most importantly of all, having a fan freaking fantastic time, regardless of what it is you're doing, and having a fan freaking fantastic day. It's a boot, but that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.